What's up, everybody? It's your boy Chip back at you from RBA Vapes. And today, we've got a cool ass mod. This is the Lexicon from our friends at Joytech. And it's got more lights than a Christmas tree. Whoa, whoa! Today we're here with another product from our friends at eLeaf, and this is the Lexicon Dual 18650 device. Open it up there, and you can see the device itself right here. Tank, extra glass, extra coils, and of course they give you the box with all their extra goodies in it. And you can see it's got the extra o-rings, manuals, micro USB cord, QC certificate, and more. And there's your device right there, nice and powered up. And you can see it's got, obviously right off the bat, the LEDs all the way through where the white are. Um, it's metal, so it's got some good weight to it. And it does have this kind of sideways facing screen, which is an interesting touch. Three clicks, you get to your menu, and it looks to be very similar to the uh, operation of like a Pico. You've got your nickel, titanium, stainless steel, memory one, two, three, variable wattage, and back to nickel. So, very sleek, easy to use interface. So there's a secondary menu on this guy. If you hold your up and power button, you unlock the secondary menu and it has the ability to change your display if you want puff counter or time I like the battery amp limit this one is I believe your auto mode and then you have your uh, power curve so you can have power boost 55 duration let's do half a second and then logo you can turn on and off and that we're going to talk about a little bit more in the up top portion and you've got your screen time out there 5, 10, 15 seconds and your light so you could do color red, orange, yellow, blue, green, cyan, purple of course we're going to go with cyan mode you've got this guy which is kind of like a building mode if you will signal that goes all the way around it or off and default I think is a cross between the two of them I like that signal that's kind of cool looking let's, let's roll with that and then this is always on 10 minutes or off so we'll do 10 minutes now the V is your version so you got hardware version firmware version and this is for your battery so you can see what your battery voltage is and that's it for the secondary menu and of course if you hold both up and down it will lock the keys that does not lock the fire button though. that just locks the power and now it's unlocked again and that's pretty much all there is to it it does have the micro USB charge port it's even got the colors in the button which is raised so it's got a nice feel to it fairly small in the hand but very weighty and it's got good weight to it so now that you've got a good up close look at it we're going to talk about this guy a little bit more in depth so that you can learn what it's all about your lexicon as it sits, you've got your side facing screen right here. The Lexicon does come with the LO Duro, but we've already tested that tank out, so there's no point in really reviewing it again. So we're just gonna measure from the top of where the tank is down to the bottom. You're looking at 6.5 milliliters of juice capacity and 132 and a half millimeters. Then side profile, you've got 31 millimeters this way. So you can see the 25 millimeter Addy sits perfectly on there. And then 
from the facade you're looking at about 45 millimeters give or take so not terribly big for being a dual 18650 so that's really nice it has 235 watt max it's got a nice OLED screen on here it's not super big but it's definitely bright and it tells you everything you need to know obviously right off the bat you could see it's got some crazy light thing going on looks like a spaceship and these cool rounded off corners with the mirrors so it's definitely a unique looking mod with two 18650s i'm not 100 percent sure that 235 wattage is 100 is completely accurate but we're going to talk about that a little bit more later on in the video the other thing i do want to mention is you can see here it's got a centered 510 and that's something that's becoming more and more popular that we're starting to see in more devices and i really like it because it allows larger tanks to fit on here um, it says it can accommodate 26 millimeters but with the kind of flared out or angled edges you could probably fit 30 28 maybe and it's not going to overhang the whole mod it's just going to stick out a little bit past that edge but you can see the leds are in there so it kind of has a cool look to it very futuristic of course it's got overcharge protection over discharge protection over current protection and reverse polarity for your batteries it's got the micro usb down here so it does support quick charging at two amps or you can use that for your firmware updates. I want to talk about that 235 watt rating. Um, with two 18650s, I'm not sure the math that they're using on that, but I would think that the max you could get is about 180, 187 watts, give or take. So I don't know that I necessarily believe that, but these guys aren't the only company doing it. I could see that from a dual 21700 device or a dual 2700 device that's got a higher amp load on the battery therefore they can build a higher amp load into the chip but with dual 18650s at 25 30 tops uh, peak amp output i don't really see that 235 watts coming up most people don't vape that high so i'm not really that worried about it we're not going to go into a ton of detail about it but just know that even if the screen says 235 watts, that's probably not what's actually coming out of your tank. So we covered that. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the menu on this guy because it's a little bit wonky and a little difficult to get to. As you can see, the sideways screen, so you got to hold it this way a little bit. But it has a secondary menu built into it. And that's something that was a little bit harder for me to find. So to get into the secondary menu, you're going to hold the fire and the right button which i guess is technically the down button i don't really know but that gets you into your secondary menu here and this is where your more uh well-known features are going to be bam right there then you go over and you've got all your secondary or deeper menu features right there and that's how you're going to control the screen itself where you can display the puff time or amperage on the battery. I like battery amperage personally. Um, then you've got these S swirlies here, which is for power. I think that's your ramp up. So you can do a boost or a buck mode on it if you want to. Then you've got your clock, which you could do five seconds, 10 seconds or off. I think that's your screen time there. Uh, then you've got the little light bulb and that controls the color effect. And then we'll go back to exit. And you can see when I hit the fire button now, does my little running man lights it's kind of cool so we already know about the tank the LO duro tank that comes with it it's one of my favorite tanks that Joytex put out it comes with the mesh and the net coils holds six mils of juice very cool look to it it's got the slide top we love the slide top and all the other stuff that we've talked about this video is mainly for the Lexicon mod itself. The reason being is because it's super small and compact. Um, here's a single 21 squonk box, and you can see that it's damn near the same size. A little bit thicker, but the overall footprint is very similar. And there's dual 18650s in here. The casing itself is that zinc alloy that Joytech has been making, and it feels very nice, sturdy, substantial in the hand. You can hear that that's loud as shit and it's got a nice battery door too it kind of clips in clips out if you look in the base there it's all kind of nice metal plastic combo that's very well made built very tough i mean look how thick that battery door is that's damn near a quarter inch thick 
so I have to give them credit where credit is due it's very small very compact uh, very well built very sturdy metal material that they're using here the styling on it is super cool I mean look at that tell me that's not one of the coolest most alien futuristic looking mods you've ever seen in your life that thing is gnarly I like the little cut out corners here I like the the overall size I like the weight of it the construction is very nice the screen being as small as it is but placed very well and the battery door on the bottom seems rock solid the center placed 510 connection everything about this device aesthetically and build quality is awesome um, like I said the only problem I have is that 235 watts I don't I don't see that happening but that being said the chipset ramps up super quick it's not the quickest but it's no slouch either um, overall I really have to give this thing two thumbs up it is very well built I like the styling of it and it does exactly what it's supposed to do it produces a delicious vape and looks dope AF all in all I'm not sure if we're gonna see this guy at RVA vapes it is um, priced a little higher than I personally think it should be but it is a nice quality well-made device so if you get a chance to pick one of these up and you really like the styling go for it um, the tank that comes with it is great it's compatible with baby beast coils and it is super super cool looking so other than that I don't think there's too much else to say about the lexicon here so thank you for watching please subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest reviews check out our website shop.rvavapes.com and please look at all the online only specials we've added over 200 flavors of e-liquid that you can order from our website and it'll get direct directly shipped from our warehouse to you other than that not much else to do here so if you want to smoke that's your business if you don't holla at us